Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a tricky issue that many budding developers encounter. Our viewer is diving into JavaScript for an upcoming internship and has run into a bug with the transition and event not correctly removing a CSS class. Let's explore this together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through a question, going through those answers, and hopefully it leads to your solution. Remember, stay a little bit crazy, just like me, to get through to your resolution. Now let's get started. Let's start by understanding the issue with the transition end event in your JavaScript drum kit project. The problem arises when you hold down a key for too long, causing the playing class to not be removed. In your code, you have a function called remove transition that checks if the property name is transform. If it isn't, the function returns early, preventing the class from being removed. When you remove the if statement, the function executes for all properties, allowing the class to be removed regardless of the transition type. This is why the page works perfectly without the condition. Additionally, when you press the key again while it's stuck, the play sound function checks if the key already has the playing class. However, it still fails to remove it because the transition end event never fires. To resolve this, consider removing the if condition in the remove transition function. This will ensure that the playing class is removed whenever a transition ends, regardless of the property. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To fix the issue with the transition and end event, use the toggle method instead of add. This will help correctly manage the CSS class. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. There are two main reasons for the issue with removing a CSS class after a transition. First, the class playing is used both to indicate if an animation is active and to control the animation itself, complicating the process. Second, adding or removing this class involves DOM operations, which can be time-consuming. To fix this, it's better to store the animation state in a variable instead of relying on class changes. This way, we can manage the transition more efficiently. Here's an example of how to store the transition states in a variable. Each key represents a different transition state for the corresponding key code. In the play sound function, we check if a key is already under transition. If not, we mark it as starting a transition. In the remove transition function, we update the transition state based on the current value. This helps manage the transitions effectively. Using a timeout allows us to change the state before the transition ends, ensuring smooth operation. You can find a working example in the provided JS Fiddle link.
Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To fix the issue with the transition end event not removing a CSS class, you need to also handle the transition cancel event. This ensures that if a transition is canceled, the class is still removed. The transitioned event won't fire if the transition is removed before it completes. This is why adding the transition cancel event handler is essential. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. The transition end event can sometimes be interrupted, preventing it from firing. This often happens during user interactions like scrolling. To handle this, it's important to implement a fallback mechanism. For example, in a mobile app with a slider animation, you can use a timeout to ensure the CSS class is removed even if the transition end event doesn't trigger. Here's a simple code snippet. First, define a function to handle the transition end event and clear the timeout. Then, set a timeout to remove the class after the transition duration. This way, if the transition and event doesn't fire, the timeout will ensure the class is still removed, keeping your animation smooth. And guys, that's it. I hope this video has helped you and get you through to that resolution you needed. If it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you hit subscribe. Now, until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.